So here's the fragrance that left me totally blown away. This is by the brand State of Mind and it's called French Gallantry. This is a beautiful aromatic fragrance. It has a lot of herbs in here. There's thyme, there's oregano, there's laurel, there's basil, there's a lot of fantastic ingredients. And in today's Cephalobon contributor video, I'm gonna be telling you all about this fragrance. I'm also gonna let you in on a very special giveaway opportunity very soon. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on French Gallantry by State of Mind, this is a 2021 release. I'll tell you about the notes, performance, longevity, all that good stuff. But before I begin, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and please give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. So here we have a fragrance that, and by the way, there is a giveaway happening. If you would like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is visit seflebon.com. It's gonna be the first link down below in the description box. After you've read through the article and become a registered reader, just drop a comment on the article and that's all you have to do. Just make sure to check back on over to cephalobon.com on the date that's mentioned in the article so you know if you are the lucky winner. Good luck, everybody. Here we have a fragrance that is beautifully aromatic. You have the sage, you have the basil, you have all of these aromatic ingredients, the thyme, the oregano, a beautiful citrus overtone, even though you're not gonna see much citrus in the note breakdown, but I do get this bright sparkling aura in the opening and it dries down to this leather accord, which I think is really interesting. You have some aromatic ingredients in here too, but I think the ingredient that everybody's gonna be talking about is this tomato leaf note. And of course, if you're familiar with a lot of the fragrances by Hermes from the Un Jardin series, you know that that note has been utilized in a number of them, especially one of my favorites, which is Un Jardin Sur Le Nil. So as soon as I smelled this one, I fell head over heels in love with it. And I'm a little bummed out <laughs> because we're in the month of November and the weather is quite cold. And I just know that had I discovered this fragrance sooner, I would have been wearing it all through the summer but that's not gonna stop me. I'm still gonna be wearing it quite a bit. Nevertheless, I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell. Let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation first. So as I said to you before, the first thing that you're gonna notice about this fragrance is how beautifully aromatic it is. And of course it has the thyme, it has the sage, it has the basil, the oregano, and of course it reminds you of just being, you know, in a beautiful garden where you have all of these herbs and aromatic ingredients growing around you. And there are so many fragrances that utilize, you know, either mint or basil and all these aromatic ingredients, whether it be Green Line by Hermetica or any number of the Un Jardin fragrances by Hermes, and you're just transported to this full luscious garden where you have these herbs growing around you and that tomato leaf note is just so bright so vibrant so juicy and organic and i love the way that it's utilized in here the laurels give it this brightness to it of course and you know it has this contemporary sophisticated quality about it some might argue that it leans a little bit casual because it doesn't have a sharp citrus in here and you know it doesn't have some really weighty ingredients in the dry down but even that leather accord is so smooth and i'd be pretty convinced that there's also saffron in here i didn't see it in the note breakdown but i know saffron contributes to the creation of the formation of a leather accord and i am getting a little bit of saffron in here too and that's because from time to time i'm also reminded very vaguely of alpha by mendy torosa and i know that that's a fragrance that has a little bit of saffron in there too but i think the thyme is really what works its magic in here there's thyme there's the laurel there's all of these wonderful aromatic ingredients and the one thing that i enjoy is that with a lot of fragrances that i've sampled in the past not only are they aromatic but there's also an overdose of spice so it's like okay let's also throw in clove and cinnamon and nutmeg and and cardamom and this and that and that's not what's happening in here so i love that about this fragrance it's not jumbled up it's not overcomplicated. It doesn't have this confusing personality about it where it's like, okay, wow, it's aromatic, but it's also spicy and it's also gourmand and it's also woodsy and it's also, it has a very, you know, deliberate 
path or trajectory that it wishes to follow and I think it executes upon it quite beautifully and masterfully if I can be honest with you. I just love how fresh this is. I love how open it is. I love how inviting it is. But again, I wish I discovered it sooner. I would have been wearing it in the spring and summer like it was going out of style. Beautiful fragrance, French gallantry. I hope you have the opportunity to sample it and once again, Make sure to participate in the giveaway at cephalabon.com, first link down below. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, super unique. I know I mentioned a few other fragrances, but that's to give you very vague and abstract frames of reference. This is its own olfactory experience. It stands on its own two legs. You have to try to discover it for yourself. And I think it's mass appealing. Longevity on this one was a solid seven hours on my skin. Projection was wonderful for the first hour and 15 minutes of application. It radiated at an arm's length. It became an elbows length scent right around hour five, a skin scent right around hour seven or eight. Versatility, perfectly unisex, great for the hotter weather. This fragrance can be worn dressed up or dressed down. Anybody of any age would appreciate this one. Like I said, it's a little contemporary, but it also has this smooth, timeless quality about it that I really enjoy as well. As far as the presentation is concerned, everything from the atomizer to the cylindrical container inside of this box, the magnetic cap, the beautiful red hue. My final verdict on this fragrance is, if you're looking for a holy grail herbal and aromatic fragrance, French gallantry must, must, must be at the top of your list. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your time today. If you took something of value from this episode, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up, and check out cephlebon.com. Participate in the giveaway. First link down below. Good luck, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.